hello everybody and welcome to a new video before i head into this video i want to give a special thanks to my good friend mickey because she has handed me a script with all of the ideas for this video she has been getting a lot of questions about coral island about how to make money in coral island unfortunately she isn't in a place right now where she can make it herself yet but she really wants to share her knowledge so i i can't take any credit of this so be sure to thank her if you stumble across across this video all the credits are going to her but without further ado let's get into this video share her knowledge so big disclaimer at the beginning because when you just start out in coral island don't expect that you can make a quick buck however you can make solid money in order to buy seeds for crops that will make you a good fortune in the early game now i know you might be tempted to buy furniture and clothing you might be overwhelmed with everything that's there to be bought don't spend your money on them just yet the selection of items will not change during your entire gameplay so you will not lose the opportunity to buy items like for example in animal crossing or disney dreamlight valley so don't worry about making things look pretty just yet just focus on getting money now one of the first things you can do in early game to make uh, a little bit of money is learn how to fish and catch bugs as soon as you start the game i will start out with a little shot of me teaching you how to catch bugs and fish and how to get the uh, rod and net so at a certain point in your game you will get the mail in your mailbox to meet sunny and eleanor in the beach shack and once you go to the beach shack they will give you your fishing rod and your bug catching net and as soon as you have that, the best thing is to go into your settings and turn your game time speed to 50% and spend your early days just fishing and catching. Now for catching bugs, you will see that there is like a wide outline. This, this is your catch area. This is where you want your bug to be in and as soon as your bug has a green outline around them that is when you are able to catch them. Bug catching is a lot easier than fishing however. Once you have your rod into the body of water that you're currently fishing in make sure to wait until the fish has got onto your line and as soon as your fish has caught your line you will be presented with the ability to click your left button your uh, your left button on your mouse now there are gonna be squiggly lines on either side of your bar white is good all the way into the red is bad and you also want to wait until your fish stops squirming that is your best opportunity to make sure that the line won't break but I will clarify this a lot better on the screen for you. So after you have donated one of each fish and bug to the museum slash offerings to the goddess, that is the moment where you can put them in your shipping bin to make money. What's also a great tip is to scavenge every single day all around the entire island. There are a few things you might want to say, you might want to hang on to, for example, in fall, try to save all Titan Arums and Rafflesias in winter. They will sell decent, just as the flower, but they will make you even more money when you finally have the ability to turn them into honey and selling the honey. But that will have to wait a while, so be sure to hang on to those. And what's also a great tip that I only learned recently is visiting the diving dock. By the Coral Island sign, there is a basket that will regularly fill up with goods. Now, these goods aren't necessarily pretty or usable, so you can sell them without having to worry about them and get good money relatively fast. 
So uh, I already touched a little bit on scavenging, but I want to go into a little bit more detail by a season. So first up we have spring. The best uh, scavengeable items are cherries. You can find them by the paths surrounding the lake and they will sell for 75 gold each. Another great one is wasabi. It will sell for 55 gold. Coconuts are a true lifesaver because you can harvest quite a lot in one go and they will sell for 45 gold each and any mushrooms that you will find while scavenging uh, will sell for 40 gold now in summer a watercress will sell really well for 50 gold and the white hibiscus will sell really good for 40 gold so those are your best bets. Fall has a little bit more uh, options than summer. As I mentioned earlier, the Titan Aram, just on its own, it will sell for uh, roughly 420 gold, which is nice. It's not bad. But compared to when you would sell it as honey, it will get you over 2500 gold. So it's worth hanging on to those until you unlock the beehives. Now another one is the Masutake mushroom. It will sell for 80 gold. Again coconuts, coconuts will grow in every season. They will be accustomed to every season so they will not always be the same. But again a great thing to make a quick buck on because you can harvest multiple at once and they will sell for 75 gold each. Chestnuts are also a really well one to sell because they sell for 45 and figs sell for 45 gold each as well. Now for winter, as I mentioned earlier, the Rathlesia, it sells on its own for 420 gold. But again, hanging on to those is a better bet until we have beehive because if you turn them into honey, they again make over 2500 in gold. Again, coconuts, same old, same old. These will sell for 150 gold each and the Black Beauty eggplant you can find will sell for 45 gold. Now another great thing to do is just to speak to your fellow islanders. I know it might look a little boring or not the most fun thing to do, but as you level up with your fellow islanders, you will receive gifts in the mail. You can sell these items without out of worry the meals and gems will sell decent and the shipping bin is located just by the mailbox so no time will be wasted on this and as you level up during your gameplay you will be able to find higher quality items in the wild and make even more money with them but in the early game they are your best bet for money without any extra trouble now on to farming so the best crops to farm whilst your town rank is still on level F for each season. So for spring that would be cauliflower, they sell 150 gold each, potato for 66 gold each, and turnips. Now they only sell for 35 gold which isn't that high, but taking into consideration that the seeds only cost 15 gold, you will double the price you paid. which is. A nice profit. So for summer it would be sunflower for 60 gold, gardenia for 40 gold and blueberry for 35 gold which is also a little on the low side but blueberries will regrow every four days throughout the whole season which is nice if you want to make some more money. Now if you would play through the game as it's meant to be like if you play through all of the quests you have a great chance to be at town rank E or D by fall. Now for these shots for, for this particular video I created a new save and I didn't bother playing through the game as it's meant to be. So by this time my town rank is still at F because I couldn't bother because I just wanted to show you genuine shots of how it is in early game. But as I mentioned if you play through how the game Game is meant to play you will easily be at town rank E or D by fall but if not don't worry 
there are still some options for if you're still at rank F, which are orchids, which sell for 120 gold, rice for 40 gold, and cranberry for 15 gold, which is also, again, a little on the low side, but considering they regrow every two days, it's still worth investing in. Now, if your town happened to be at rank E or D by fall, you will also be able to buy pumpkins and selling them for 100 gold and they regrow once a week so it's a little on the slow side beet for 46 gold they regrow every four days bok choy for 144 gold they regrow every five days which is also a little bit slow and these are for rank d and the lily for 832 gold as well okay on to winter now you will have to have your town rank at c to be able to purchase any good seeds for the winter but don't worry if your town rank is not in good shape for the winter. You may need to depend your income in critters and coconuts that grow during the winter. But you will be able to buy cacao beans at rank E and they regrow every 3 days and they sell for roughly 81 gold, which is not bad. So after you've unlocked ranching, the best ways to make money is eggs into mayo and milk into cheese. The best way to achieve good quality quality and bigger produce is to keep petting your animals every day to collect hearts and this way the products will get bigger and if you level up your hay quality at the lab in order to get higher level artisan goods as well. So on level up gamers will have access to all animals and crops and as this happens you won't have to work as hard as before to make good money. It's just a matter of making good choices on what crops to farm. So after you've reached this rank, here are the best ways to make good money by selling items. First things first, truffles. Your pigs will start finding truffles for you after 3 days being homed to your farm. Process any truffles your pigs are to find with the oil press to double what they would sell alone unprocessed. Even the lowest selling point for black truffle oil is 1300 gold and highest is 2595 gold. After caring for your pigs with love, they will start finding white truffles for you. Their oil will sell at lowest 2035 gold. And and high is on osmium quality for 4000 gold. A second is wool cloth. So you will get wool from the sheep after caring for them for two days. You will first be able to shear them some regular wool which sells at lowest for 160 gold and highest 330 gold. But after a while of petting them daily you will be able to shear large wool which sells lowest for 270 gold and highest for 450 gold. Any wool you will shear you will need looms to process the wool into cloth. It will take you a little bit of time to get the loom so until you have the loom it's safe to sell your wool unprocessed but I highly recommend that once you have unlocked the ability to craft the loom that you craft at least six so you will be able to process as much wool as possible at once. So the normal wool cloth, the small wool cloth will sell from 365 to 725 gold and it takes a day to process. So for large wood glove it will sell from 595 gold to 1190 gold and also takes a day to process which isn't that bad actually. Now another great way to make money is juice. By using the cac you will be able to produce juice from certain fruits. The cac will be unlocked on farming level 6 however as the process time will be 12 hours no matter which fruit you will put in it's best to choose wisely what you want to put in there. A few great options are green melon juice which is lowest at 475 gold and highest 945 gold. Pineapple juice is a really great one lowest at 405 gold and highest at 815 gold and also strawberry juice lowest 200 in gold highest 395 gold. Now the reason strawberry juice is on this list despite the slightly low selling point is that strawberry regrows rather quickly in spring or in your greenhouse all year round. It makes a great value
value for its growth and processing time when the two of the best fruits are not yet available to you. Another great thing is Fairy Rose. The seeds will be available after reaching town rank C. And important thing is that you use fertilizer to every time when planting these flowers. The flower itself will sell from roughly 166 to 332 gold, but when processed into honey, the price ranges from 500 to 995 gold. But if you have unlocked the aging barrel, you can also make it into fairy rose mead, which will sell from 2000 to 3980 gold. Now you will receive the aging barrel after filling temple offerings of a rare, of a rare artisan goods to the goddess which include titan arum black honey any kimchi any wine fermented goat cheese wheel white truffle oil now most of the goods will require the aging barrel to be made which is a little bit weird but don't worry you are able to buy goods from this all around the island and your best bet to get these rare items are either the tavern or on the dock on the south side of the tavern by the coffee stand there you will find Rati's floating market on Tuesday, Thursday and Friday from 7.30 a.m. to 11.59 o'clock so don't worry. Another great thing is mining. So selling any already donated artifact or gem is a great way to make money. While gems can be used to enchant tools, at this point in the game you really are better off just selling them for money. Also a rarely known fact is that once you have about 20 gold bars and around 100 gold ores in your chests, you can go mining only for gold ore as much as you like and selling everything that you've mined that day without processing by by a mining session for gold you will roughly easily make 80,000 gold a day which is a really great way to make money now as I mentioned in the beginning visiting the diving dog in the early game is a great way to make money but it's still a great way to make money after you've reached down rank C after you've unlocked ranching after you've unlocked making juice and all that good stuff this is still a great way to make a little quick buck here and there when necessary so again by the sign of coral island there is a basket that would regularly fill up with goods they are not pretty nor usable so you might as well sell them as mentioned before making mayo and making cheese now for cheese you will need the cheese press and tons of cows or goats that give large milk. The large cheese wheels make good money. After the update the produce time is way way faster than before and as we have goats we also make more gold. So the goat cheese wheel will sell from roughly 725 to 1450 gold and the cheese wheel will sell from roughly 275 gold to 550 gold and for the large mayonnaise it takes about five hours to process three eggs per machine now for quail mayo it will range from 750 to 1500 gold and the duck mayo will range from 310 to 620 gold depending on the quality of it as for the cheese now let's say you're too lazy to process any of the goods process the mayo process the cheese wheel and you just want to farm well don't worry I still I have some great tips for that after uh, getting to town rank C. So for spring that would be cauliflower again which ranges from 155 to 310 gold. The snowdrops from 110 to 220 gold and the radishes from 108 to 260 gold. And for summer it will be melons from 215 to 430 gold gold or a pineapple from 158 to 370 gold and the lilies from 138 to 246 gold without processing any of the flowers into honey and any of the fruits into juice well there you have 
it. These are all the tips that Mickey wrote down for me that I am able to pass on to you. I hope these tips will help you in making money on Coral Island. Feel free to ask any other questions in the comments below that I hopefully or Mickey can answer for you. And yeah, let me know if these tips help you. And see you next time. Bye bye.